three. Hello YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make a Fallout 76 video about my uh, Prickett Fort's camp. Uh, the location is just above Prickett Fort. Um, so Prickett Fort's over there. If you look down, you can actually see Prickett Fort at the bottom there, right? So just above on the on this yield top, uh, there's this beautiful pond which I actually found a long time ago and I've always kind of wanted to come back and build you. I actually thought it was much further um, when I was look, sort of just uh, looking at the, the path of the winding path. I thought it was kind of closer to this, but um, anyway, there is a, there's a camp. There's kind of a, a kind of a few things here. Um, but one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to be able to get access, relatively easy access from the bottom of Prickett's Fort. Now you can actually walk around, it's not too too bad of a walk to get around. Obviously you can spawn into your camp and stuff like that. But I also wanted to be able to have access from the bottom, so that was one of my, my things I wanted to do. Of course you have this beautiful little pond at the top here. Now it does come with a pre-built uh, water purifier, but unfortunately I can't get this to work. I can actually get it powered up. As you can see, it is powered, but it doesn't actually produce any water for whatever reason. It's kind of, it's too bad. They've got this pre-built water purifier that you can't actually get to produce water, right? So, so I threw down this, uh, threw down this bigger water purifier just to see if, um, you know, it was a problem with power or something like this, or maybe the world or something like that, but it doesn't seem to be that. So it just doesn't seem to produce water, which is unfortunate. Anyway, you also have these uh, beautiful rocks up here, these outcrops, uh, you know, I always like to take advantage of these sort of rock outcrops and try and uh, build them into your base. And, you know, sometimes if they're flat enough, you can put chairs and stuff on them. Uh, put chairs and tables and make it a sort of an outdoor area. Uh, if you looked at my Morgan, camp uh, Morgantown camp it's similar to that um, some other cool things here is there is both a iron vein nearby and a lead vein nearby so just on the I think on the opposite of these rocks um, there is an iron vein I think just down here somewhere oh, just right over here so you have an, uh, an iron vein, so you can actually pull some some steel, um, or at least iron ore. Come aster plants if you ever need to do the the aster uh, daily challenge that sometimes shows up. Okay, so you've got iron there. Plus we have a, a lead vein that is close by as well. So just on the other side of this this house here, we have a lead vein. Uh, which is kind of cool as well So even though I don't have any mineral deposits here, uh, which is obviously water is uh, what I'm mining at the top here if anything uh, You also have uh, lead and iron which is kind of cool. So you're 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 and very close by you have lead And uh, lead and uh, iron, iron, iron uh, vein there, right? So you can pull Now there is a little tent camp up here, um, which you can't actually build on top of, but you can build around. So there is a tent camp, which comes with a bunch of resources. Uh, there was uh, plans up here. There was a recipe up here. So I think I got a picnic table plan yesterday. I got a recipe. You got a bunch of wood up here. Plus you get a radio in your camp, which is uh, does work kind of. I noticed on some servers it doesn't turn on, and other servers it does. But it does actually activate. Uh, there is some wood piles there as well, and plus you have some a wood pile over on this side, which you can pull from. And um, there's some some I think there's some ammo that there's some guns and stuff here, so you might be able to get a few uh, bit of bit of ammo and uh, guns that might respawn. Anyway, let's take a look at the house um, that I built here. Uh, now there is a lot of red scorpions. Hester got attacked by four red scorpions at the same time, so kind of be aware of this. Uh, um, so that's why I do actually have a couple of turrets here. So I put a turret at the top. Normally I wouldn't bother with turrets, as they eat into my budget, and I'm max budget at this point. 
but unfortunately with those, uh, you know, having four red scorpions attack your camp at the same time, uh, I put some turrets there, so I have one over there, and then I had a red scorpion attacking my camp at the back here, so I threw up another turret at the top, so we'll see if that takes care of it. He was attacking my back wall here. But I may need, I may just remove those turrets and uh, if I want to build some additional stuff. I actually built this deck here to see if I could um, stop them spawning. They all spawn kind of here together, so maybe this will avoid them spawning uh, right at my house. And then I also had a turret, uh, not a turret, a red scorpion spawn right in this corner here. So they do come indoors uh, sometimes, so... Okay, so this is just kind of the main sort of floor area. Got all the workbenches. It's totally open, so people sort of show up. And um, I never lock my houses, um, and I never lock my water purifiers and crops. Obviously, if people do show up, uh, they're more than welcome to use it. Um, you know, hopefully we don't run into the players that just want to destroy stuff. Uh, I do have an anti-griefing uh, build that I did. I built a bunker where, you know, uh, it can't be destroyed and they can't actually access the inside of the bunker at all without your permission. You have to actually open up the door uh, completely, completely private um, and all the resource, the harvesters inside and the resources and that. So check that one out as well if you're interested in that. Um, so on the second floor, I've just got a little kitchen area. Yeah, um, I love uh, creating little kitchen areas. Um, I'll put a little water purifier on a uh, sort of fireplace there. When people ask, I tell them that that's what creates uh, the hot water in my house um, or camp. Um, a little TV area, a um, little lounge sitting area. Now, unfortunately, just because of the limited budget, I'd love to have decorated the place a bit more. But, uh, you know, as I said, I'm at max budget at the moment. A uh, fairly large place, three floors. A bunch of water purifiers. Um, and water, and a bunch of water pumps as well. And then just at the top here, I just have a bedroom area. Normally I'd close this up, but with a beautiful view at the top, I can actually see the, the space uh, station or whatever you call that space. Uh, Thing in the distance there, you got the beautiful view of what Fort Prickett or Prickett's Fort rather. Uh, you know the mountain view. Um, it's a little bedroom area, yeah, at the top, which is kind of cool. Obviously, with the different carpet and textures, even though it doesn't really look like carpet, but I like the different transition between different floors and different textures. I think the the floors uh, are probably the most valuable item in the atom shop just because you know you can create these these nice little camps and and transition the textures from one texture to another which i really like and then lastly let me show you uh the stairs that i actually created down to fort Brigger. So obviously there's a stairs i've got a whole, whole bunch of these concrete stairs i really like the concrete uh look but i also like what i did yeah um, I did try a different couple of different variations. Now, if you are building yet and you do want to include the water, it's a little tricky to get both access to the water if you want to put these big uh, water purifiers in the water. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'm just barely on the edge of the water. Uh, I can probably squeeze, I probably could squeeze a couple more uh, water purifiers if I really wanted. Um, you can even see that one's way past the green line there. So you can you can pretty much do quite well. I, I generally like the water pumps myself, um, but yeah, whatever whatever you fancy. But yeah, I created this little walkway down here, um, down to stairs. So let's take a look down here. Uh, as you can see, I put some carpet here just because you can't get too close to the wall because of the intersecting issue. But it actually turned out quite well. So unfortunately, because I had to include the water, or I wanted to include the water rather, um, I was limited. I actually had this uh, the extension of the, the camp a little bit further out, and uh, even then I still struggled to get any stairs down there. But I ended up uh, creating a little sitting area down on this. Again, I like these, these rock outcrops, so you can actually place chairs and nice little 
it's in areas but yeah if we look at the bottom you can see even though i have a bit of space at the bottom i can't really build stairs down there and even though it was a little bit further out before uh, you still can't so i created this little area that uh, i just moved this sort of deck a little bit away from the wall which allowed me to put some stairs and then uh, these little platforms are a little bit picky in space they don't like to intersect with the wall too much uh, but this one actually intersected pretty well but i couldn't actually create any stairs down to the bottom so Obviously, if you have the Marpusol Serum, Jumping Serum, not a problem. You can actually just jump right to the top here. Uh, if you have a jetpack, you can actually just jetpack. But that allows me to get access directly from Fort, uh, Prickett's Fort uh, without actually having to go around. But even if you didn't have the Jumping Serum, uh, there's this little outcrop here that you can actually jump on without the, without the actual... Um, now, I am still jumping with, with uh, the mop use of serum, but um, you can actually walk here around here. It was a regular. Actually, let me show you my other character. I have my other character here with me, and it doesn't have the jumping serum. And I'll show you how you can actually still, without that serum, get a, get up to those steps, those, um, those stairways. Okay, so I'm just going to go and jump just the way I showed you earlier. I'm just going to jump on this outcrop here. So I don't actually have the jumping serum on this character, but I can actually walk along the edge. You just closely walk along the edge. You can kind of jump here, and you'll get kind of to this little edge here. There's kind of a little ledge here, and you can just actually jump there. So you can still use this without any jetpacks or um, without the Marpusol, which is kind of neat. So unfortunately, it would be nice if we could have steps that go down, right down to the ground, but you kind of have to choose whether you want uh, to have some water purifiers or you want some steps. But anyway, that's okay. It kind of worked out well that, um, you know, you can either jump there or you can walk along that edge, which is kind of cool. And maybe that's, uh, that's a bit of a deterrent anyway for people that... Um, don't want don't you necessarily want others to access from the bottom and maybe it's a bit of a deterrent to to, to stop people coming up i don't know anyway so I, i'm quite pleased on how that actually turned out um because I, I got my access plus uh you know i got uh the nice view plus i got the water access uh for the purifiers um and this this really i like how this actually turned out especially this top piece here i really like how this came together it took me a little while and tries to get this to to work out i mean as you can see i'll just show you if somebody else if one of you guys wanted to try something similar um you know i placed this uh foundation kind of in in this rock here you a closer view just right next to this kind of art clip here i suppose and then i built steps up here i did like i said i had uh, different variations and uh, when i moved my camp again i had to redo it but anyway that worked out well and then i got up here and like i said you can't actually there's no floor underneath here so i use carpet but you can actually get one of these other ones up here um these kind of straight or half floors if you will uh but the full length of a floor uh, it looks like this one obviously um but uh, lengthways, and then up here, and then you know use some more carpets just to cover the gaps here. So kind of looked quite nice there, right? So also got my generator up there. I like putting the generator back at the top. Uh, the red scorpions took it out very quickly, so I wouldn't recommend putting that on the ground at all because uh, you're going to be repairing quite a lot if you do. So just get it out of the way, and as long as nothing with uh, gun shows up, you should be fine. And then, you know, there you go. So, gorgeous view, beautiful day. get the whole thing in 
there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't con uh, subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you enjoy. And just finally, just to show you the, the location of this uh, camp, it's just on the, the edge of the mountain, yeah. Um, if you come up from Fort Prickett, you can literally walk straight up and then kind of, there's a little walkway just kind of around, I think around, yeah, and you can kind of walk back to your camp. Um, now, there's also a lead deposit just sitting over here. So again, you can grab some additional lead, either put your camp there if you want, but uh, or you can just walk over there and grab some lead out of the ground. Uh, there's one there. There's also another lead deposit right over here. Uh, there's also a lead deposit where this guy's sitting. I'm pretty sure his camp's right on a lead deposit there. And right over here, somewhere around here, I think maybe, is a copper deposit. So if you're looking for copper, you can get that. And of course, you're pretty close by to the ammunition factory um, as well. You'll see a lot of people at that location. And then I think just over here, there's also a um, the Stonehenge um, area where it's made out of cars. Uh, so there's a little stone edge, there's a couple of ghouls and stuff there, not, nothing much in terms of loot. As well as just over here, there is a truck uh, or a, a trailer, or a couple of trailers rather. And one of those trailers you can unlock uh, with pick lock. I think you need, you might need uh, three or two, I forget, but it has, um, it has power armor in it, uh, randomly spawned. So you'll get the Raider power armor that randomly spawns, so they'll give you a, at least a fusion core. Or if you are looking for the Raider Power Armor, then you could probably get it to spawn um, in there now and then. It doesn't spawn all the time, but uh, every now and then you'll find it's uh, right over there. In fact, I can show you that very quickly, just where that is. Shouldn't be too difficult to spot, I think. Sort of, a, it looks like a burnt out trailer bunch of trailers if you just follow the road there's kind of a road that leads just yeah just right up here i think uh yep yep just right here there's some sort of junk pile thing going on yeah not really a junk pile as such and then you'll see these burnt out trailers so this one you can't actually open uh but this one you can uh it's a level a uh, level one skill okay let's uh quick clear let's see if we can find a any power arm inside still a fusion core ah, there we go so level 15 which is kind of nice especially if you're a low level and you're looking for some uh, uh, power armor uh, rated power armor and then there's little Not much in terms of loot, but there's a there's a tool chest with some uh, duct tape and stuff normally in there. There you go. Thanks for watching.